EP. If you had to live in a city that didn't reside in California, Florida, Arizona, Michigan, which would it be? California, Florida, Arizona, Michigan. So that's all of your from Florida now, Arizona that's before, I've Michigan. Lived. Yeah. Um, Where were you in California? I've, I've been there. Like, the longest yard was 120 days. <laughs> yeah, that's practically like living yeah, there that's for like, that, that's, that's That's enough. How about I throw out some You say yes or no. Seattle? No. No. Anything in Texas? Dallas, Houston? No. Boston? Too cold. I was going to say you have to deal with the weather. I could live in Taos, New Mexico. Why? It's going to be hot as balls down there. New Mexico? No. It's a, it's in the northern. It's. I think Julia Roberts has got a crib there. I could live in Vegas, probably. Okay. Who else from the house? Who we got in the house? Who we got in the house? Kev, you going to SummerSlam? Yeah, I'm, I plan on it. I'm going to go to WrestleCon okay. on the poster. I used to like get good billing on the poster. Now I'm in the background because I have, <laughs> have no show the last couple. <laughs> they don't want to yeah. commit to that. Yeah. I love it. Put Nash in the back. He might show oh, up. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> Pinball Wizard 809. Oh, hang on, David. Let me just get this one in here. Pinball Wizard 809. Do you guys think part of being such great dads is from losing your fathers at a young age? I didn't grow up with mine, and it drives me to be the best possible dad to my kids. I think the opposite. I think I was a super dad up until eight, until he was eight, and then it was like, then I can only emulate what my dad did with me. So then it was, I knew that it, from talking to a lot of mothers that raised their kids, because it's just very rarely that there's a single father. Mm. And uh, so, I, and it was like, because my mom raised us for a little bit. And I think that you, it, it wasn't until probably when I came back from being overseas, probably during that Bobcat, er, early Bobcat era. That me and my mom became friends. It's not always the no case. Longer, you, you get right, the Pinto, was, and yeah, you get the yeah, you get the Pinto, and it's you lose. But it's just it's some about it. It's that subtle statement when you when everybody goes a carrot and you go two. It's just that little bit extra. But no plaid in the seats. No, no. no. It was a uh, very dark green uh, with a black interior. I don't know the answer to that, Pinball Wizard. It's worth thinking about. There's certainly never anything conscious that crosses my mind about my father's parenting. Where There's times I hear myself and I'm like, Jesus Christ, you sound like a parent. you got to stop this. But uh, if it's happening in a Don't very... you think also it was such a different era? Like, dads came home from work and it was so mad, man. Like, my dad came home from work and... You'd bring, I guess, on a Saturday, my dad would get up, and I'd bring my dad his slippers. He'd yeah, sitting, you see, I he'd didn't. Be, he'd be sitting at the table. And then after dinner every night, I used to sit in my dad's lap. Oh, see, that's cool. See, generationally, you have me by a few years. So I think the time you were talking about, when I was 70, so I would be talking about when I was a kid in the 70s, whereas you would be talking about being a kid in the 60s. early 60s. So there was, I think, a big thing, too. And my, yeah, because Bob used to sit right underneath the, the fucking phone with the six-foot cord. Right. Avocado. See, my, yeah, and my dad, it was, it, work was sporadic. I, he owned a bar for a while, and guys would come to the house for whatever to talk to him and say things. So I remember one guy, Don, walked in with a leather jacket. I thought it was the coolest thing because I liked the Fonz. And he goes, hey, kid, this is for you. And he threw me a, an evil Knievel electric toothbrush. So Don was over in my book, but I never saw him again. And I don't think anyone did. But uh, So it, it was a, a less normal home in that respect. There were no slippers. There was no time that he was home. The uh, drinking frequently. So I thought everyone's parent went through a liter of vodka a night. And uh, only know what you know as a kid, right? So that's yeah. that was what I knew. Who else here has questions, I wonder? 